Now it's time for exponential Golomb codes. Okay, m is given, it's a free parameter, and the number is given, some number we are going to encode. Exponential Golomb codes, it's integer encoding algorithm. We determine q. q is determined by the formula given on the whiteboard. x is our number, m in the formula is the number given. We encode q in unary manner uh, where zeros represent the number and one terminates the sequence. Then we calculate r uh, by the formula given on the whiteboard and we encode r uh, as m plus q bit binary number which means we calculate n plus q and uh, this number will represent the number of bits which make up uh, the R. I will give the example now. Okay, and here's the example. Okay, we are trying to encode 14 with M equals 3. We calculate Q by the formula and Q is 1. It's binary representation consequently of the Q. Then we calculate R uh, in our situation sum is empty, but it's no matter, actually you could have calculated if it wasn't empty, it wouldn't change much. And at the end we produce, uh, it's the length of R, the length of binary rep representation of R. R is 6. Uh, this is 6 in binary, but yeah, but we know it has to be longer than 3 bits. Thus we pad it with 0 here. If, let's say, if this number we produce here was 5, for example, we would have added another 0 here. But, yeah, this is the code. You can try uh, and play with different numbers. This is the outline of the algorithm for decoding. Actually, it's the same but reversed. You can pause the video and write it down if you want. Here's an example of decoding. Okay, m is given, m is 3, and this sequence is also given. We search for q, we decode this unary code, terminating 1 and number of preceding zeros. So thus q is 1, because there's only one zero. Then we look here. We have determined how much is q. We sum up m and q and thus produce the length of r and binary. It's 4 bits. We decode these 4 bits and acquire decimal representation of r. Then we determine how much is x by plugging in all the numbers we produced into this formula. r is 6 plus this sum. Sum is also empty because I have just reversed our encoding example, but it's no matter. You will just plug in uh, j's here if the sum wouldn't be empty. So, uh, final result is r plus the result of this summation. Thus, it's 6 plus 2 in the power of 3. And that's it.